I think that when people think about the trauma and the harm that has been done to Native communities and colonization even, I think when people think about those things, they think about them as things that happened in the past, but they are definitely things that are ongoing and perpetuated by things like the name on a building. I, as chair of the anthropology department, as well as the majority of the faculty, um, supported the initiative to unname Krober Hall. Alfred Krober was one of the leading anthropologists of the first half of the 20th century. When he first came to California and founded the department here, he initiated an effort to study Native Americans of California, something that hadn't been done up until that point. Krober's approach to the study of Native American life is sometimes referred to as salvage anthropology. That is the idea that the anthropologist is trying to hold on to and protect the remains of a society that's actually disappearing. In actuality, the societies that Krober was studying were still vital, living, evolving societies, and he did not give sufficient attention to that fact. One of the other reasons for the unnaming initiative has to do with the poor judgment exercised by Krober in his decision to have Ishi, one of the last remaining members of a Native American tribe come and live at the Anthropology Museum as something of a display item. I think it is better that the name is not there. Um, the name binds the discipline to a past that it no longer needs. And that doesn't mean that it's uh, not important to study Krober, but at the same time there's no need sort of to make a monument of those foundational figures whose contributions we recognize, but also whose flaws we can see more clearly now from the standpoint of the present. For Krober, we got hundreds of comments. We read all the comments. We had a very good discussion. I mean, we came to a unanimous conclusion that we um, would recommend to the chancellor that the name be removed. It's not about erasing history. Going forward, we would like the legacy of Krober to be engaged with. We want it to be something that people talk about, both the incredible work that he did and also why it felt like it was necessary to, to remove his name from the building. What it comes down to is really what kind of message are, you, are we sending to especially the Bay Area First Nations and you know how are we going to use this as a first step and move forward to a new chapter of inclusive, decolonial future where Native Americans' land is, is, is returned and their voices are heard and we stop denying and erasing the, the history of the genocide that occurred. In removing the name or considering broader issues that are impacting Native students across campus, it's not only creating a more equitable place for students that are currently here, but also creates a more inviting space for students that might consider coming to Berkeley for their higher education purposes.